Hello, I'm Mr. Jacobson. Today we're not looking at a watch, but another form of accessory. We're looking at the Cross Peerless Fondry 47 Rollerball Pen, which is, in my opinion, the most important pen in the world. So we start off with the boxes, and there are two of them. One big, and one small. It's hard to explain, but both these boxes just breathe quality. They're quite heavy and the material is quite thick. They also feel very nice. If you also look closely, you'll see the Fondry 47 design to this particular cross box, which is black and yellow. It's very striking. So let's open it up and take a closer look. Inside the box, the pen is held in place by some elastic and it lies on a bed of felt. The inside follows the black and yellow theme and it works really well with the gold details of the pen. The overall presentation of this pen is something to behold. The opening mechanism of the box has a really nice snappy feel to it and there is some resistance. If you simply want to use this as a display piece, that works really, really well. Okay, so let's see what's inside the box, because it isn't only just the pen. You have a few cards, one brochure from Cross themselves, one card from the Fondly 47 with their statement, so to speak. And then you have the Certificate of Authenticity, signed and numbered. The inside of the cross brochure contains some pictures which look kind of good, a statement, and then the warranty card. And now we will free the pen from its prison and take a closer look at it. I just want to close the box one more time. The dimensions of the pen are as follows. It is about 1.9 inches wide, 5.7 inches long. It weighs about 1.9 ounces, which is about 54 grams. The top screws off like this to reveal the rollerball tip. The pen is black with gold details. The metal material is quite heavy and it feels really good in the hand. You have a very, very interesting pattern on it which looks industrial, at the same time it looks a bit art deco-ish even. And those are two things that I personally really like. Here you can see one side of the pen. The other side of the pen contains the all-important serial number. And I'm going to go into why that is important soon, but for now you can just take a look at the other side of the pen. When you hold it, you can feel the pattern, and it's quite enjoyable. This is a pen that strikes you both visually and physically, and that makes writing anything an experience. The gold details encompass the whole pen, and that gives it a really nice effect. The pen retails for about $350, and that is a lot for a pen. However, this pen is part of a greater picture. It has a mission. And every time you buy one, you're part of that mission. Let me read the Fondry 47 statement. In the last 20 years, ongoing wars on the African continent have resulted in the loss of millions of lives. This conflict has largely been enabled due to the widespread availability of assault rifles. Cross has partnered with Fondry 47 to help make a difference by reducing access to assault rifles in these war-struck areas. Your peerless Fondry 47 rollerball pen realizes this purpose. A disc of blackened steel from a melted down AK-47 gun is embedded in its cap and marked with the Fondly 47 moniker. On the panel on the cap is the unique serial number of a gun taken out of circulation to create it. Your purchase of this pen will enable the destruction of one more assault rifle in Africa, 
weapons which, thanks to you, will never again be used to take human lives. Peerless is the finest writing instrument ever created by Cross. We celebrate this moment where something so beautiful can help support a cause so noble. But what, I hear you ask, is in the smaller box? Well, let's take a look. Inside, you will find a stand for the pen so that you can use it for a display piece. This stand is made out of wood, and my guess is that it is some form of walnut. This is also a very striking piece. Again, you have the Fondry 47 logo, or moniker, on the front, in black. The effect here against the wood is also very, very nice. And here we have the pen on its stand, looking quite magnificent. Personally, I have this on my desk all the time. My handwriting, however, is so awful that there is no point in trying to write something. I use it mainly to sign stuff. This is actually a wedding present that I received from my wife. But I've been looking at this pen for a long time because I really like the mission statement. And I really like the fact that now that I have this pen and I know the serial number of the weapon that it came from, it will never harm another human being. It may sound like a cliche, but I dislike violence. Thank you so much for watching. If I hadn't received this present from my wife, I would have bought it for myself anyway. The price is a bit steep, but when you think about what you're actually doing, the money doesn't seem all that important. But remember that the whole pen is not made from an actual AK-47. It's just the bit in the cap that they've taken from a melted down gun and put in the pen, rather than make the whole pen from the gun itself. This video was about something completely different from watches, but given the fact that this is an accessory, I still feel that it fits. Normal service will be resumed soon. But until then, I'm Mr. Jacobson. Have a nice day.